So we're here at uh, Wind Tower, and uh, I thought we had two of these, but we've actually got a glue in up top and a carbon steel five piece bolt and a carbon steel Metolius fat hanger here. We don't really like these because they twist up the rope and they, they get loose and become spinners. This one hasn't yet, probably because it wasn't mounted by another one. That, because they pull together whenever you weight them, and then when you clip them directly, they, get, they pull straight down and they end up being kind of spinners. But they really twist the rope, and we're trying to convert as much as we can to all stainless hardware. And so, leaving this guy obviously, this glue in the last 50 years probably is not, you know, top rope directly through it. and. This isn't a top rope location anyway. So, um, but this guy we're gonna take out and put in this guy instead. A lot more freedom of movement and uh, it doesn't twist up your rope and it's nice and all stainless. This will last a long, long time. So, that's our uh, objective. So, we loosened this off and I tapped. After I loosened it about a quarter inch, I tapped until I pushed the cone back to the back of the hole. And that sucker's kind of short. Um, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a short little bolt. I didn't expect that. Um, now, what I want to do, let's see, uh, try a couple of things first. This is a tool made, uh, by heating this till it was cherry red and then bending a little hook and filing it. And what it allows me to do is to grab the uh, inside of this sleeve and pull, but I don't think it's going to come out easy. It's rusted because, like I said, this is a carbon steel one. Yeah, it's not coming out easy. Um, let's see. I'm going to measure against the length of the bolt. Yeah, it bottoms out against the cone when I push to there, so that means the cone disengaged from the uh, sleeve, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to take this, which is a spiral 3 8 tap. It's the same thread pattern as a 5-piece bolt uh, at the half-inch level, okay? But this is a 3 8 bolt, and I'm tapping it so that I can cut threads on the inside of this. You can see them cutting like that. And I'll be able to thread a bolt into this now just slightly sticky sleeve and then rip it out of the wall. And you got to go back and forth to let these chips of metal fall out as you tap. You got to be careful when you're doing this because it's very easy to break a tap. They're, they're very fragile, they're brittle. And so if you feel like it's binding then back out, you know. Get my little tool, I think that got it. It it got red hot while it was being um, drilled and that loosened up the sleeve enough to uh get the rest of the sleeve out. So I'm drawing the cone out of the hole using a long tap bolt that's screwed into the cone with this coupler nut to give me a lot of surface area to pull it out against these threads. There's the cone. This is nice. We get an extra place to uh, to clip in, a little more freedom of motion for the rope, and a uh, nice all stainless thing. Um, these are not stainless, so we'll probably come back and swap those out when I come paint this, because this isn't camouflaged at all yet. But, success!